off to Costco for our, one of our last little keto shopping trips for a while. I have a personal pet peeve about people who leave their Costco shopping carts just willy-nilly. Really bothers me. Stop it. So here we are. We just got here. Where we bought two things that we didn't plan on buying. Charmaine just went to go back and get the waffle iron. And I bought a new hard drive for our trip. So I can store my video. Four terabytes now for $129. That's a sweet deal. And with this, we'll make the best keto waffles. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm intrigued. Seems like a great idea. But that's, that's a lot of money. Isn't that awesome? Man, we just let the pucks fly when we were kids. Like, wherever. Didn't matter. That's awesome. I don't know if it's the same in the States. I think it is. Costco meat, it's just the best. It's just so good. It's definitely one of the major keto components. Wow, that is a huge brisket, untrimmed, $81. They used to be a cheap cut of meat. We bought a roast like this from Safeway for $15.15 .15 .15 a kg last week and turned it into a couple of monster steaks. They weren't as good. It was the quality was lacking. That's why it was cheaper. But Costco beef is always so good. Neat thing about Costco, all of their meat bags are compostable and we have to compost, like by law. We have to compost all of our vegetables. So we, we kind of like to grab a few extras. That's a good price for a wild sockeye. Often uh, the, the salmon here is Atlantic and that means it's farmed and I don't support farmed salmon. Leave a comment if you have some questions like ask me why and I'll, I'll tell you. Costco chickens are awesome. You know what? There's a secret. They're cheaper than buying a raw chicken and cooking it yourself. They lose money on them. So you're crazy if you don't buy one. Yeah, we'll get that. That's our traditional Costco uh, dinner. There's a Costco Caesar salad and a Costco chicken. Here's another one of our favorite keto ingredients is spaghetti squash. We make spaghetti squash spaghetti. Simple, delicious. Or what sure means, yeah, that lasagna. Oh, so good. It's funny how programmed we are. Like we just sort of always get the same stuff every week. Got a nice bunch of mushrooms. I think we practically live on Caesar salads. Uh, always get this type of romaine. They always seem to have here at this Costco. Other Costco's in our city don't necessarily have the same lettuce. I don't know why. But yeah, it's washed and mostly chopped. So I love it. And we can sometimes have some of those, but mainly they're for for Michelle. Blackberries. Sometimes people don't realize when they're blocking other people. I almost call it the Costco phenomenon, where people sort of just forget that there's other people around, and it happens a lot here. Now to get some eggs. Usually buy the 60 eggs, double flat, but I think we just need a single this time, right here. And some keto paper towels. When it comes to dishes, if it isn't quantum with a Powerball, you're just wasting your time. Oh no! The Starbucks autumn blend is gone, winter blend has replaced it, but none of it's on sale. 23 bucks? If you want the pikers, you want winter. Um, oh yeah, we're going crazy today. We're going for the winter blend. These are relatively new. They're cheese crisps. They are low carb, but it's 12 bucks for a bag. And it's just really empty calories, so I think we'll skip it. But we're not going to skip cheese. Costco does not have the extra old cheddar, and that makes me sad because that's my favorite kind. 
And every time we see the rice, cauli cauliflower or rice here at Costco, we buy it, even if we don't need it, because sometimes it disappears and it looks like it's all gone again. It's not consistent. But they do always have bacon, and we love bacon, so we're getting bacon. Costco's being weird today. This bacon is usually right next to the regular bacon. This is low sodium. Today they've got it like way far away. I don't understand why. Oh, I'm gonna get some of this farmer sausage as well. This is so delicious. I love it. We don't get it every time, but it's so good. So we're buying basically a kilo of cooked shrimp for 20 bucks. That's a better deal than Safeway. I think. Those are huge. Yeah, those are monster shrimp. That's great. Cooked. I think they're cooked. No, it says raw. Okay, that's fine. No biggie. Really disappointed they are out of that cauliflower rice again. That stuff is amazing. It's just so versatile. That became that was our mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner. It's fried rice, pizza you can make with it. There's so many things. So simple and easy. Now it's like you gotta chop up a whole cauliflower and grind it. It's a lot of work. Of all the terrible cereals, this is one of my absolute favorites. But all cereals, from a keto perspective, is not good. This is one of our favorite things you get at Costco, is uh, these movie passes. Landmark is that theater we always go to that's got the reclining seats. That's like a whole night out. 30 bucks, popcorn, movies, drinks, everything. It's awesome. It's like 30 bucks for a date. That's pretty cheap. You now get a drone with an HD camera for $67. That seems like outrageously cheap. But in Canada, you need a license to pilot a drone. I don't buy Blu-rays anymore, but it's actually about the same price to buy a Blu-ray as it is to buy it on Apple. I guess I just I just buy everything on Apple. I'm not thinking about it a day when I don't have it, and then what do I do? I've got 200 movies. So this is the middle section of Costco. It throws me off every time because everything is like nice, neat rows. You can go up and down, you cover everything, and then you get to the middle part, and it's all chaos and it's like swirling and. Everything gets, gets messed up, and if we weren't paying attention, then I'll miss an aisle. <sighs> and sometimes I try to predict where she's going to end up, and I'm wrong, and then it, it's too tight to turn it around easily here. It's stressful. Costco's stressful for me. This is my kryptonite. I cannot resist peanut butter. Neither of us can. And it's got way too many calories, and we have to skip it. I want to ride Hagrid's, and I can't eat peanut butter. I don't actually think we need any right now, but this is the best place to buy almond flour for keto baking. $18 for all of that. It's a great deal. Oh my. Yeah, that doesn't look very keto. And seeing we just bought a waffle iron, which we were really is a great price, and we're probably just going to use it at Christmas. Maybe there's some almond flour keto waffles that we can try out. All right, another keto ingredient right here, baking cocoa. Just pure, plain cocoa. Cocoa, cocoa. Man, I remember when vanilla was not $42. More keto ingredients right here. So olive oil we're getting pretty low on we need a lot so we can get two liters of the organic extra virgin olive oil for $17.99 or two liters of this one we have been using for $15.49 so we'll just stick with this one because it's good olive oil is one of the most fraudulent products that you can find anywhere except at Costco because they uh, do a lot of work to certify what they sell. So you can trust olive oil being extra virgin olive oil if you buy it at Costco. No salt, organic diced tomatoes. 
fifteen dollars. That's a lot of meals come in that box. So these tomatoes have uh, what do we got here? We got four net grams of carbs, five grams minus one gram of fiber, on uh, based on a half a cup. It's not even Halloween. I don't even think there's hardly any Halloween stuff left. It's all been taken down for Christmas stuff. That guy is monstrous. Hmm. That is a standing moose. The original standing moose. Creepy. Creepy elf. Now, these are technically keto, particularly cashews. But again, it's another one of those things I just eat way too much of, so it's better not to have for me right now. But normally, they're part of our keto shopping at Costco. Dang, that was a lot of groceries. I didn't even think we needed that much. Welcome to the next day. We were tired last night, so we um, kind of just put the stuff away and went to bed. I didn't think about filming anything else. But here it is the next day. Everything that we bought for supper is here. We just didn't eat. Yeah, like, I don't eat sometimes. I know I should, but, but I was tired. I was more tired than hungry. So I had a little snack and went to bed. So here's our not my normal salad. This is a Costco salad from yesterday we threw in the fridge. The <laughs> Costco chicken that is really good heating up in the microwave. And um, we cleaned out our freezer, used our turkey carcass, all this kind of stuff, veggies that were iffy. And uh, we're making a big pot of broth. And we do this every couple weeks, I would say. We make a huge pot. Then we have chicken stock um, all the time. We just throw it in the freezer and um, whatever we want. Chicken stock, That's we have that. But I do like to kick up the Costco salad with a little bit of bacon. I'm not sure if I've shared this tip with you before, but 400 degree for about 20 minutes, bacon comes out like that. And the best part is it sticks to the pan and then I just pour it the grease and it's really simple. Now we got the new camera, I'll put some dramatic 120 frame per second Costco salad making. Simple, but good. It's like $16, it's enough food for at least four people. And it's only feeding three of us, so that means we'll have leftovers. Thanks for watching this uh, this home vlog, shopping vlog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, he's tearing into my bone. He's still chewing on me. Oh, he can't get him. Oh, he's got me. God, pin me down.